history textbook and stirring up a lot of controversy for being, get this, anti-Trump already. One section that questions the president's mental stability reads, quote, Hillary Clinton's supporters feared that the election had been determined by people who were afraid of a rapidly developing ethnic diversity of the country. They also worried about the mental stability of the president-elect and the anger that he and his supporters brought to the nation. Well, here with more is the high school junior who first called attention to this book, Tara Snyder. Good morning to you, Tara. Hi, thanks for having me. You're welcome. So you assessed one of the history teachers at your high school and you were flipping through this new history book and you saw something you didn't like. What was it? So I saw that they had the 2016 election, but again, this was a sample book. Um, my history teacher is, a, is an amazing, great teacher, but um, as I was just flipping through this sample book that could be in schools next year, I thought it was really surprising that they had the 2016 election. Sure, because, uh, and I know Pearson is the publishing company, they're trying to, they're sending this out have uh, schools look at it, hey, buy it for next year, and textbooks are very expensive. But that's, that uh, quote I just read, Tara, essentially said that Trump supporters are racist, and Trump himself is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, um, it was really, really surprising to me. I really believe that learning should be objective and that students can make their own decisions based on what they're able to learn in a classroom. And if the facts are skewed, then students aren't able to make well-rounded decisions on what they believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's an example of uh, something you found abhorrent, and I think most of our viewers will too. Uh, Trump supporters saw the vote for a victory for the people who, like themselves, have been forgotten in a fast-changing America, mostly older, often rural or suburban, an overwhelmingly white group. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really am surprised by that. I know um, multitudes of people who are diverse and who do want to be represented, or excuse me, represented, and when the Democratic Party, or even the left for that example, constantly pushes them out of the frame, that's what's doing the Democratic Party harm, because people do feel like they're being forgotten, and not just white suburban um, people living out in the country. I know this is an AP book. You're clearly a very bright young lady um, helping your teacher too and doing good things at your school. What impressed me is that you posted this on social media. Someone with Turning Point USA reposted it and that's how we found out about it. Did you expect this much um, publicity because of your post? No, it was never my intention. Um, I just kind of posted it innocently in that chat to see what other people thought, or um, maybe perhaps I was reading into it, but I thought it was pretty blatant, so I just wanted that second opinion. Right. I, I believe the, the textbook was written by, I, it was a, a professor here in the New York City area. Uh, Pearson, the textbook company, regarding this particular, what you found, said this. By the people, that's the name of the book, was developed by an expert author and underwent rigorous peer review to ensure Wait. academic in integrity. It aims to promote debate and critical thinking by presenting multiple sides of historical issues. So they're saying it was peer reviewed, and, and obviously all of the uh, people in the academia, they were okay with it. <laughs> and critical is the key yeah. word. Tara, what do you want to see done? Um, I'm just bringing and raising a red flag. Um, I'm 17 years old in high school, and I just thought that it was a little bit to the left or a little bit skewed. And so at the end of the day, I don't think it's my decision on what people um, should be doing with the book. However, I think it's really important that people across the country are aware of the possibility of this book going into schools, sure. and they should be really interested in what their students right. are reading when they do go because to school. Because they think textbooks are facts, and well, that is not a fact. Yes. Well, now that Pearson mm -hmm. has, uh, has heard your uh, point of view, maybe they're going to review it again and maybe they'll change it before